So a few days ago I made a video on how to wirelessly transfer files to and from your phone and PC and it's just up there if you want to check it out. In that video I talked about how you can set up your static IP so you can have a permanent setup with your phone and PC by just toggling through quick settings. So if you're coming from that video watch right on. So there are two ways to go about it. We'll start with the easy one. On your phone, make sure you are connected to the network where you want this set up permanently, for example home Wi-Fi. Then go to the notification drop down and press and hold the Wi-Fi logo. Then hit the little gear icon next to your Wi-Fi name and scroll down and find your IP address and subnet mask and default gateway, which we'll use in the future. Then click the edit icon up top, then advanced options, then IP settings. Now enter what you saw in the status screen earlier. This includes the IP address, subnet mask and default gateway depending on your device. You might even need to enter primary DNS as well. Also depending on what phone you have, it might autofill a few things once you enter the IP address so it might be handy. Let's look at the second method that focuses on doing it from the router end or your network end rather than your device. It's a bit more complex but it's way more reliable. First up, go to your router page. It is the default gateway we saw earlier in the status screen. For me it's 192.168.0.1. Enter that. Enter username and password. It's usually under the router in a little label stuck to the bottom of a router. Then once you're in, find network or LAN settings. Then go to DHCP client list. You should see your phone name or device identifier. Or you can use your MAC address to match your IP address in that list. Once you have your MAC address, just copy that. Then look for a setting called address reservation. Then click add and enter the MAC address you copied earlier and enter the IP address of your choice. I'm gonna to stick to the one I got, which is 192.168.0.202, then hit save, then reboot your router, and you're done. You should now have the desired IP, and it will always stay the same no matter how many times you reboot your phone or your router. Anyway guys, smash that like button if this video helped you. Consider subscribing and dinging the notification bell if you like content like this, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.